Hey you guys, it's that time, pick a card, pick a story, where in one of these decks should be a story for you. So I'm going to hold each deck up to the camera, and if it is resonating with your energy, um, hopefully that story is there for you. So starting with deck number one, <clears throat> is your story here in deck number one? Okay. And let's look at deck number two. Could your story be here in deck number two? Are you feeling the energies here? Okay. Or could your story be here in deck number three? Is your story here in deck number three? All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So we have the Fool, the Sun, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> central issue we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so what I'm getting here is that <clears throat> it seems as if someone has been waiting patiently uh, for things to manifest, for things, for something to actually ripen because something was still not ready. Um, and now I feel like the fruits of your labor are getting ready to pay off. So uh, she's plucking down a fruit that appears to be um, sweet and um, palpable. So, and it's probably juicy. So, you know, I'm just thinking of all the, the, the good things that be, that could come of this because of all the, the waiting. Um, I also feel like here you could have been having some sort of dreams. Uh, something has been, uh, maybe speaking to you through your subconscious. You may have had to use your intuition about something. But both of these are about having some sort of um, some sort of patience here. And here we have the Knight of Swords. So I don't know if you could be dealing with an air sign. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could have been some sort of secret communication between you and an air sign. Um, so either way, I see something like there has been the completion of a cycle here. Um, I'm sorry, I just feel so distracted with my camera. It looked weird. Okay. So I feel like um, I feel like this is like the completion of some sort of cycle. I don't know if you were going through something, some sort of phase, but I feel like this is a, something about completion here. And then especially here with the uh, with the fool, it looks as if something is starting uh, fresh, like you have a fresh beginning. You're getting ready to explore something brand new. Um, so a new journey begins, but it's, it's still kind of like new to you. This is whatever you're getting ready to explore or experience is something that you have not done in the past. This is, I just feel like this is brand new. And then too, we have the sun here, brand new. Um, I feel that you are starting a life that will lead to you having fun. Um, I feel like this is a fun journey for you. I also feel like this is a time of enlightenment. So even if you've had some lessons to come to an end, I still feel as if um, this could be viewed as a lesson of fun. You know, so just kind of let go. You're being asked to just be yourself, to be free. Um, I also see this as 
uh, being free and detached and someone just really living in their truth. Um, I see, I see new growth. It, it just looks like spring. And I know we're in the middle of spring and then we'll be moving into summer. So I'm seeing things happen um, season by season. So first off, starting off in spring, everything is going to be or has been very brand new to you. Your new journey has probably already started, whether you just started a new job, started a new relationship, or if you recently became single and you're detached, maybe you're learning how to uh, have fun and enjoy being single. Um, some of you may have been doing a lot of activities on your own for the first time. Um, maybe going to the movies or maybe, you know, treating yourself to something. I feel like you have been treating yourself. And I also see an abundance of wealth. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see an abundance of wealth coming towards you. Um, so be prepared because I feel like for some of you, it might be a windfall of money. It might be something that's more than expected, especially if you already were expecting some sort of um, inheritance or settlement or your tax return. I feel like you may receive more than what is expected actually. Um, I don't know why. Um, even if it comes in two parts. So I'm feeling like maybe one month and that, that did happen personally before where like I, I received a tax return and then like a couple of weeks later, I received another one and I was like, before you spend this, see what this is. And it turned out that they had made some sort of error and that was owed to me. So um, I almost feel like you, you're going to receive two, two rounds. I'm seeing this as two rounds of finances. The one is going to be pretty big, but I, I feel like there's another part coming in where you, you're like, well, I wasn't even expecting this. Well, thank you. I could use it. Um, you might even want to invest into something. Some of you might be thinking about investments. I feel like you're thinking about your, your finances, period. Um, I see you having... Um, what do you call it? Security here. Something's happening in your life where you feel secure. There, because she also looks pregnant, um, there may be a possibility that, especially if you, you already knew you were pregnant, you're welcoming the baby. So the baby will be born pretty soon. Um, it can be any sex, but I am picking up uh, masculine energies. Um, if it is... If it's not a, a male, then it could just be a tomboy. Um, she might come out being very fiery, um, demanding a lot of attention here. Um, now, in regards to a love situation, I see you, it's like you might be unaware that you're being led to a soulmate who actually has some sort of status or clout. Either this person is an entrepreneur uh, or this person um, is a business, well, same thing, business owner. They might work in politics um, or government. Mm, they might be a big influence on the community they could be a big influence um, on social media. So someone could be, what do you call it? Like, um, I don't want to say Insta famous, but it maybe very well could be from Instagram. Um, but I feel like it's more so like a social media platform. So anytime someone is YouTube famous or Insta famous, are people Twitter famous? I don't go on Twitter very often. Um, but if you can have Twitter fame, then that too. Any social media platform. It could be an actual um, film or television person. Uh, someone said they can't stand when I get into talking about fame. People, you know, we don't know what life people be living. You know, people might be very quiet on here. 
who are famous or or around famous people. So if I feel like I'm detecting fame, I'm going to mention that. Um, so I am getting that for somebody. It might not be for everybody. Um, hell, this might even be your status. But in regards to a love connection, I do feel like you definitely could get involved with someone who comes from a, a wealthy background. And because the sun is here, it just makes me feel like this is a soulmate. Um, this is someone who will have the potential to go long term with. Now, every now and then I do pick up shady energy with the Ten of Pentacles. So just as a warning be careful that the person you're getting involved with is not attached to somebody else. Hopefully this attachment is more so um, to their job or their image here um, and not so much, you know, another person because sometimes just as to put it out there to let you know, uh, give you a view of all sides that yes, sometimes this can indicate someone is already established has an established relationship now speaking of established relationship if you're already in an established relationship um, <clears throat> like I said you guys could be getting ready to give birth to a child or maybe it's birth to a new business you guys could be business partners maybe you've, it, something has been being nurtured something has been developing um, you know too like when you have a retail space and you always see like the 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 black curtains over it, the windows or the, the newspaper. And you're like, what is that? What are they making? What are they building? You know, it's like a bunch of things happening behind the scenes. Um, so maybe you're getting ready to open up a, a new bakery or a coffee shop or a clothing store. Um, so you could be business partners and you guys have been nursing your baby, taking care of it, just getting it all uh, beautified for the general public. And so I see a big reveal. So I'm seeing like a grand opening and it's going well. People are responding well. People are coming in and spending their money. They're shopping. Uh, I see you carrying a, a quality product, something that you can um, be proud of. I also feel like if this is a business that um, this could be something that was handed down through the family or something that has like the family name in it or maybe you just come from a line of uh, entrepreneurs here um, also yeah I'm seeing like a you come from a line of either popular or famous um, popular or famous either one you could still be dealing with someone who's very well known in the community or the neighborhood um, so good social status. Um, now because we do have the high priestess and things may be dealing with secrets, there also could be a situation where you're involved with, um, someone who is very close to the family or someone who is like family. Um, that's a possibility as well. I also see something in regards to, again, like the truth coming out. I feel like if you, if you're wondering if someone has been honest or lying to you, to me, this says someone has been telling the truth. They, they've been open. Maybe someone was hiding something at first, whether it's their feelings or maybe it was just a surprise or whatever have you. Um but someone is is coming out clean they're they're being honest with you there's nothing else to hide so they're giving you some good energy here now i notice most people on here or the majority of the images on here have smiles on their faces so i feel like this is overall good news for you um i feel like this is overall good news the only people who look in serious are the high priestess and um, this air sign so that that's why I feel like this is more so like past energy because before you didn't know what was going on um, even if that was like it, it just kind of says that you didn't understand what was happening so if you were pregnant you didn't know what the sex was now maybe you're getting ready to find out because the baby will be born you're gonna be happy no matter what if it's a boy or a girl although I am picking up um, strong masculine energy um, you could be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, 
or an Aquarius, maybe a Leo, um, and then possibly some something of an Earth energy. Uh, I'm also getting something in regards to banking. I'm seeing also something in regards to a play. Someone may be a playwright or someone may be signing some sort of documents where finally they're like they sold a script or they sold an idea. I'm seeing someone making money off of their idea or someone's idea materializing here. Um, someone is enjoying the fruits of your labor. It's for all to share. Uh, so I basically feel like your reading is pretty much straightforward. Uh, let me just kind of look a little more into the will. I'm sorry, the fool. Looks like the will. Someone may also come wandering into your life. Now the only thing, it's not showing like strong romance uh so you could be if it's rom if it is romantic you guys are more so connecting because of your status you guys look good on paper you might be making some sort of logical decision um making some sort of agreement uh it could even be an arranged an arranged marriage so i know that's not something common in the u.s um, or um, I don't think it's really popular anywhere anymore but by arrangement to modernize it to me that is more so like okay think of Paris Hilton like you think her parents would set her up with you know just someone regular they're going to of course try to introduce her to people that went to Stanford or Harvard or something of that sort. So this is kind of being matched up with your someone who matches your class, your status, your title is basically how I view that. And again, I keep going back to um, celebrity status. It could be two people who who happen to be in the industry. Let me see the fool though. I see some risk that pays off. Someone takes some sort of risk. So someone could, I see a relocation for some of you. Um, either that could be happening, you know, within this time frame. Well, I try not to give time frames for the pick of cards, um, but it could still be something that is in the works uh, within the next week or so. Or this can be something that happens within uh, a month from now or during uh, a new season, a new beginning, um, especially like summer. So the first day of summer, I think that is uh, June the 22nd, June 21st, June 22nd, somewhere around that time frame. You could be moving around a summertime. Maybe there's been some sort of changes in your career um, changes in the family and also speaking of family uh, you could be moving in with family or a family member could be moving in with you so a lot of times too this could be like having additional space to share your home and your wealth with someone even not you don't have to be rich but you know that just say you you you're the one with the extra space you know they can come crash with you um now i do see too someone finally letting out a family secret if someone has been holding on to that secret it's like we can't hold on anymore it's like i have to i have to share this the is too much of a burden to keep this secret under wraps 
So someone may be expressing to you how they feel and they've just been waiting for the right time. They've been really patient um, during this time. They've been observing you and intuitively, maybe you already kind of felt that there was a connection between you and this person and you were just waiting for the right time. Uh, those of you that are just still absolutely single though, um, if no one kind of tumbles into your life uh, pretty soon, then this at least this is being able to focus on your finances and your status. And yeah, those coins are coming out here. Um, now, because the lovers did come out and it is next to the Seven of Cups, then for some of you, yes, this is about being involved with someone that maybe was in an established relationship and I don't really see it ending. It's just something, it's something new that is beginning. That's not for everyone, but for some people that does indicate having to make a choice and someone who could have been having uh, an emotional affair even if you do find out about that, like you uh, just based off of the energies coming out here, like I said, nobody seems to be sad about the situation. So if it is open and they're honest with you and they're like, look, we're we're in an open relationship. This is an open relationship. It's like they're telling you the truth. There's no nothing to hide. We're, they're like, we don't have nothing to hide from you. Um, so they could be. Um, that could be your situation, but not for everybody. You know, that's just for uh, someone specific. For the most part, though, if you're connecting with someone new, I feel like it has a potential for something long term. And you guys can both have the potential to put your talents together and make money. Yeah. All right. So that is all for deck number one. We'll move on to deck number two. We have the Wheel of Fortune, both starting off as wheels. We have the Hierophant. We have the Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles coming out again. Eight of Cups. Sorry if my kids are too loud. My children, I'm trying not to say kids, okay. Four of Swords as a central issue. Man, Four of Cups and the Star. Okay. <clears throat> so here, um, I feel like someone's been going through something. Someone's been, someone has been having a lot of personal thoughts, maybe you've been um, isolating yourself, um, maybe you've been in hermit mode, maybe you've been uh, keeping secrets, some sort of secret to yourself, or maybe someone has been doing that to you. Your children could be trying to get your attention, but you're kind of preoccupied, like emotionally, something has got you distracted. Uh, I also feel like something's been going on where you've been preparing for something you know she's got a spider web there so maybe you've been even though you're at peace something has been in the making for a long time now you maybe put your prayers out into the universe so long ago and you were waiting you know like when are my prayers going to be answered and you were patient maybe at one point you got tired of waiting there were times where you felt frustrated wondering when something was going to happen um, thinking the universe didn't love you. You're like, does the universe even love me? <laughs> you know, but yeah, you know, your, your prayers are getting ready to happen. You know, there's getting ready to be some sort of changes. Um, I also see something you've already been having some sort of dreams. Those of you that have like these vivid dreams, I'm seeing like vivid dreams. Uh, I'm seeing like angels maybe downloading messages into your into your mind and they're playing out like a movie here. So I feel like pieces of information were revealed to you at some point. 
and you've been preparing for this all along. And now, what's that saying? What is luck when preparation meets? Somebody finished a sentence for me. <laughs> so your luck is changing here. There's getting ready for some of you to be a change in career status. Um, it's time for you to take on some sort of higher responsibility or a higher calling um, or just a job that's higher pay. But spiritually, I, I see this as I see this as advancement. You could be initiated or interviewing for something. You could be going in for some sort of interview and then you stress about it. Now, I see this playing out two ways for some of you, but don't fret. If you get turned down for one job opportunity, don't, don't cry about it because it wasn't a good fit. There's something else better for you that you're going to enjoy, but this had to happen. You had to experience that disappointment for whatever reason because it's preparing you for the next adventure. It's preparing you. Now you know what not to say at the next interview. Um, now, I also see this as those of you that if you're self-employed, there's something going on with your career, but you have been maybe intuitively you knew this was getting ready to happen and you just did not want to deal with it. You have been trying to suppress that thought, that what if thought that your career is getting ready to shift or change. And you're like, I don't think I'm ready for a career change. Like I've gotten pretty comfortable or pretty good at what I do. But the universe or your destiny is kind of like changing here or not changing. But, you know, you're just one cycle has ended and a new cycle is beginning. So it's like it's time to move on to the next cycle. Um, and it's almost like too like a game of life. It's making me think of of uh, like a literal game board pieces. And you know how you take a chance, you take a risk, and you move your pieces. I mean, this is all a part of life here. Uh, nothing stays the same, everything must change here. So I feel like you have been uh, stuck in one phase of your life or one season. I don't even really wanna stay stuck because it, it, it just felt like it was stuck, but you were, you were in a cocoon state. You were being nurtured. You were being fed. You were being nourished by the universe. Um, some of you, I'm seeing a change of house. Like the focus may be on a home or change in residence. Or if you work from home, it could be that you have to go back out into the work field. Uh, or if you've been working in the field, you may be switching up to work from home or it can just overall be something where you have to let go of something something that you were once doing it's like okay time to put that on the shelf there's something else that I need to go towards um, for some of you, you might not maybe you lost you've been feeling lost in what you do it's like something's missing like you in Feel like you enjoy what you've been doing, but at the same time, you're like, something is missing, though. I need to find that missing piece of the puzzle. So I see you going through uh, transformations. You're going through mental transformations and you're going through emotional transformations. Uh, from time to time, you, you do feel maybe stuck or trapped or like you don't know what to do. It's like, I don't know what to do, you know, anymore. I don't know where to go. What do you mean I have to change or I have to shift? But it's like something at the same time has been telling you. So if you've been having some sort of dreams, just prepare for those dreams to come into fruition at some point. Um, there's a need for you to have some sort of patience here um, because good things come to those who wait. I mean, this could be something dealing in a love situation. Maybe you've just patiently been waiting and you don't know what else to do. If you are in a relationship, 
there's something going on where maybe somebody has felt bored as of late but they haven't said anything. They're just kind of waiting to see how things go. It's like, I guess this is natural, this is normal. All relationships change. Relationships have their ups and downs, which is true. But there is getting ready to be some sort of shift in regards to that. Um, some of you may have felt like I'm so sick of this routine that we have. So it's, it's time to change it up. It's time to change it up. Hmm. Something's getting ready to happen pretty soon. Hmm. I'm seeing you learning how to walk away from things that don't really matter and you're learning how to downsize you're like I, I only need to take the things that are important with me so you could be downsizing um if it's not downsizing in the size of the home then maybe it's downsizing like walking away from old furniture that you don't need anymore maybe you is something had too many attached memories to it and you're just kind of ready to leave that behind um let me clarify a few things here so let me look at the the eight of swords i also feel like someone has a letter that they haven't opened and someone's waiting for you to open their letter or open their message. Some, some of you, you're in a relationship where you know it's getting ready to end and somebody's avoiding conversation. And it's just like every time you try to set a date for you guys to have some time alone, somebody bails out because it's like, uh-uh, I already know what they want to talk about. Even at a job situation, if you if you get called, like your supervisor is like, hey, can you come in my office around around 1.30? You're like, oh, okay. And then you don't do it. And you're like, I know they're about to fire me. I know this is not about to happen. I feel like you're 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 having anxieties about some sort of changes coming. If you've been having sleep anxiety, it could be that something is getting ready to come to an end. Hmm. I see some sort of telepathic communication that's been taking place as well. Someone is waiting for you to rescue them or you are waiting for someone to rescue you. Mm, but I feel like somebody hasn't really been paying attention or somebody is being overlooked. Someone's plea for help could be overlooked. I'm also getting the energy of you having a silent follower a silent follower you might have someone who is on your social media that has sent you some sort of message but you have not opened it because you don't trust it you might be thinking is um, or if, if it's email you might think something is spam or you might think something is unsolicited but it's really something that is full of compliments. Um, could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Leo, Aries, Sag, maybe a Taurus or Cancer. Somebody is trying to secretly confess to you how they feel so this okay I see something coming off as a 
confession, like a, a private confession. So you know how Catholics, they go sit by that gridded window or whatever, and they're confessing, but the I think the priest can still kind of see who is sitting on the other side. I feel like something like that is happening, like someone is sitting next beside you with a confession. Um, they're getting ready to tell you that they have sinned. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're, but they are, it's almost like they're, they need to share something or get something off of their chest. Maybe they're just telling you that they're attracted to you. I don't know why they have to keep their identity under wraps. I almost feel like someone is coming at you through um, a false identity or through uh, a mask or something. It's almost like they're saying, I don't, I don't want you to see who I am. So I don't know why though. And if you have been having some sort of telepathic dreams, damn, somebody need to change their game plan. If that's the case, it's not working. Um, I just kind of feel like someone has been left hanging because they're trying to be too incognito. Like this, like, just come at me like direct. So someone's, someone's, someone's plea may go unnoticed. I, I'm also getting someone who is severely shy in a love matter. Now as advice for employment, if you are wanting to get a promotion, you're going to get overlooked. You, you have to put yourself out there. You can't be afraid. Um, you can't feel like you're going to look stupid. You need to ask for what you want. Nobody's going to come and save you. No one's going to come and rescue you. I'm seeing this in a work situation. You're like waiting for somebody to just come and be like, you, I want you to come work for me in this position or I want to promote you. Nobody's going to do that. So don't feel sorry for yourself. I almost felt like I needed to snap on somebody. Like stop having a pity party. If you want the promotion, you have to go get it. Um, if they're not going to give it to you, then you need to leave that job. And that is something that I see happening. Like you walking away from a job because they're, they're not paying attention to you. You're working hard. You spend all your time. You're being very dedicated to your craft. Um, you're looking out for the company, staying overtime, staying late. And you trying to like, Mr. Sanders, did you, did you notice that I got all the reports together for you. He's like, yeah, go away. My wife is leaving me. I'm going through some other shit. So <laughs> you kind of like, well, what should I do? I don't know. Should I move on? Should I stay at this job? I'm, I'm so loyal to this job. You know, I've, I've dedicated so much time and energy. You know, has it, is it going to pay off? No, it's not going to pay off. So they're never going to recognize you you just start putting your applications in somewhere else so you can get that interview somewhere else and don't be all um holding back at the next interview and acting shy so it, 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 if this is in decision about a job situation that is like a strong message that i'm getting um move on um now, also what I'm getting to job wise is that I feel like someone wants to promote you or bring you on their team, but I don't think you trust, I don't think you trust them. I feel like you might end up passing up on that offer. Um, but let me see what else the Eight of Cups is talking about. Oh, my stomach's starting to growl. I hope you can't hear it. I just heard it. <laughs> I'm going to cook my dinner after these readings. Someone is moving on. Yeah, see, someone is moving on. If you can't find a higher, if you can't find your voice where you are now, I feel like you're going to move on to where it is heard. 
So that can be a relationship or a job. If someone is ignoring you, you've constantly been trying to uh, give someone their space, um, trying to give them time to recover from whatever they're going through. At some point, you're like, I don't think this is worth it. I'm killing myself over this person. This is you. You're like, I'm killing myself. Like trying to get their attention, trying to show them I love them, trying to be patient. Even if it's just a crush, it's just like you're you've patiently been waiting for your crush to recognize you. I feel like at some point you're like, you know what? Maybe I was delusional. Maybe I made a mistake. Let me let this go. So I'm seeing you move on to someone who is um, who is trying to get your attention or who does want to be with you or a job that wants to hire you. Now, I also see you letting go of something that you are known for. Something that, like, so you might even be changing like your entire job description. Um, so something that you have established, you're walking away from that for something else. It's like in exchange for something else. I'm giving up one thing in exchange for something else. You're starting new. Um, you're learning some sort of new skill. You're working with a new group of people. If you were previously solo, you might decide to work with a group. Um, or if you were working with a group, you could go solo, but I'm getting more so like working with a team where you're having to compromise and you guys are having to work together and build together. Um, this is something that is developing very slowly for you. But you're passionate about it and your intuition is telling you to go there. You may have also been receiving some sort of messages or confirmations that's telling you, hey, it's time for you to separate from whatever you've been doing or whoever you're connected to because it's someone new over there. It's something new over there is just kind of what I'm getting. So if you're multi-talented too, um, hell, let me go ahead and just kind of clarify the will. I mean, I know, I already know it's talking about some sort of shift or changes here. Um, but I, I want to look further into it. But if you have multiple talents and you've only been focused on one, it's time for you to let that go for a while and start something, start on working on your other talents. Something else needs developing now. Like you've probably accomplished or outgrown something and it's time for you to share your other gifts. And it is going to pay off. For some of you, I'm seeing several changes. There may be changes to your health, finances, marriage status, fouling status. Somebody is straight changing careers. If you're in college, you're, cha you're dropping out of one class and taking another major. Ew, secrets. Hmm. Somebody was at a crossroads and was waiting for the universe to make the decision for them. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody is just like, I can't make a decision. Like there's been an opportunity. There could have been several opportunities that have already presented themselves before you. And you're like, I can't decide. I'm just going to wait for the universe to make that decision. Some of you have been thinking about a Capricorn or a Capricorn has been thinking about you, but it's coming off as obsessive or temptation. So someone may have been wondering if they're in like a relationship and they're thinking about flirting or taking some sort of risk. They're like, is it worth it? Like what happens if I get caught uh, or what happens if this turns out to be the love of my life? So someone is making a decision Ooh, they have been stressing about something. 
So, yeah, someone had been, there could have been some sort of love triangle going on for some of you. Um, I, if, if it's not happening to you, it could be with your love interest, especially if they were t uh, taken or unavailable. Somebody has been thinking about the other person nonstop. They're like, I can't deny my feelings or my attraction to this person. But if I express that, it's going to be a third party. So they've been holding back, but they haven't stopped thinking about you. Even if you feel like someone hasn't been paying attention to you, you're like, man, I feel like they're not paying attention to me. Nobody's talking to me. Um, they're sneaking around. They're snooping. They're snooping. And, you know, kind of if you have social media, they're looking at through your profiles. Um, if they live near you, they could be driving around your home, but they're spying, they're snooping and they're planning and something is coming off as cheating or temptation with the devil here. Someone might lie to come out and see you or someone could be, like I said, lying about who they are and trying to talk to you through private messenger. But you're like, I don't know who this is, um, which is again why I feel like there's someone walking away. So you guys, I, I, I feel like overall the energy could shift or change depending on the will. This is a wild card, but it does look like someone is walking away from something that they feel is no fulfillment here. And it also could be a situation the minute you decide to give up on a person is when you hear from them. But keep, don't let that, this part, this reading stop you. Go ahead, walk away and mean it. Don't fake walk away. I've talked about that before. All right, so let's check out deck number three. We have the Nine of Swords. Move that out of the way. The Knight of Swords. Damn, Two of Swords. Somebody is really into their head. Ten of Wands. Page of Cups. We have the Emperor again. Damn, did he come out on all three readings? Six of Wands and Five of Cups. So the central issue here, um, somebody is regretting something. They Someone has not yet a let go of the past like maybe there was an opportunity to take a new job or maybe there was an opportunity um to like someone you flirted with someone but they never responded and now they're just kind of regretting the fact that they never responded or you know the energies could go the other way around maybe you regret not answering or responding to somebody so somebody has been kind of stuck in the past and having some sort of pity party uh, but I feel like someone will overcome that energy and suddenly become inspired and realize that they haven't really lost anything at all. Um, and I feel like someone is suddenly motivated to go after their goals, their dreams, their passions. And I feel like this is someone having support to do so. Um, now, if you're in... Um, if you're in a relationship, your partner, maybe they feel bad for you. Maybe they thought something wasn't a good idea at first. And now all of a sudden they, they're like, um, baby, I'm sorry. I support you if that's what you want to do. If you want to leave that job, you can go ahead and find something that makes you happy. Um, if you want to do this, we'll work together. So I feel like your partner is trying to compromise with you um, to make you feel better. Now, I also get a situation, um, oh no, this is the Emperor, not the Hierophant. I feel like someone does want to be self-employed and someone is determined to make that uh, a reality or, you know, just trying to make that happen. So career-wise, this is good energy to see, but the only thing is like, I don't know where to start. So you might be, I don't know if you need a retail space to do what you do or if you're just kind of um, checking out other people's websites 
or other people's platforms to kind of see where do you start. You're like, I don't know how, how I should go about this. Let me see what they're doing. Let me see what they're doing. Um, and you've probably been up late at night losing sleep um, just because you don't know how to start this new business. Um, or you don't know how, you know, what job you want to start in. Maybe you're up scrolling career builder or indeed or monster or whatever these job sites are you're just kind of looking searching um so i feel like some of you are kind of stressed about a work situation if this is something romantic uh, a lot of times too the emperor he sees something he wants but he's coming off as very shy um, it's very weird. It's like either the emperor is coming off as very bold and dynamic and goes after what he wants, or he's coming off as this big bad wolf who's extremely shy. Um, so he's almost, it's almost like, uh, someone who is a walking oxymoron. So if you would see, uh, let's use Thor. Um, let you see Thor walking around and you just saw him fight a battle. Um, you saw him make a hammer, uh, appear in his, in his hands and you just seen him overall kick some butt. And then Thor sees you and you lock eyes for a minute, but then he's just like, <laughs> you know, he, he start whimpering like a freaking puppy and he like runs off like Napoleon Dynamite. And it's just like, what the? You know, it's just like, I just seen you beat somebody's, I just seen you beat 20 asses and you can't approach it and say hi to me? Like, are you serious? So this is, the emperor to me is coming off as someone who is a walking oxymoron. They're naturally uh, a born leader, a fighter, courageous, fearless. But when it comes to a love matter, they're all up in their feelings and paranoid and they're going to say, no, they aren't going to like me. They're going to judge me. They're going to talk about my clothes. I'm not that good looking. I don't care how many thousands of people say it. I'm ugly. You know, it's just like somebody is ex excessively shy. Um, someone is afraid, uh, is very sensitive about their work or their art. Um, just everything somebody is just way up in their head so i'm starting to get to well we do have it out libra gemini aquarius but this could also be their moon or rising sign because it's taking over their personality especially gemini moon um this is someone who just overthinks way too much like your thoughts are all over the place um you also could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, maybe a Leo. But I, I am getting like strong Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with someone with strong Gemini in their chart or you. And when I mean they have strong Gemini in their chart, that's either like their first house um, or one of the important planets are in their sun or moon. Or it's like a stellium meaning uh, I think four or more planets in one house and all in Gemini in the same sign rather. So you might be dealing with someone who has um, a lot of Gemini or like a strong planet in Gemini, even like a Mars in Gemini because um, that's a strong energy, you know, and Mars is just like zip, zap, zap. Oh, or Aries, too, you could be dealing with. But Mars is just like such a quick energy, and it's in that air sign, and, it's, you know, you get a lot of fast thinking, quick thoughts, and, you know, you're thinking about 10 things per second. So, you know, it's, it's a very active mind. Um, speaking of, you could be dealing with someone who's a writer, or you yourself could be a writer because of the activity of the mental state. Um... I also feel like as a description, you or somebody that you're dealing with is probably into like horror movies. I'm seeing stuff like about ghost hunting uh, or things dealing with spirits and things of that sort. 
Mm, I feel like someone has something to say. Like, if this is you, like the Nine of Swords is telling you, you have to come out of your head and you have to confront your fears. Um, you have to stare something and you have to stare your fears in the face. Um, if you are someone that has been having like literal nightmares, you really need to learn how to take control of them. You need to learn how to become lucid. Um, there are different ways that I, that have worked for me. I mean, I have like different methods. Uh, one thing that I'll just kind of mention without going too far off the subject is like while you're drifting off to sleep, maybe say some sort of phrase or mantra over and over again to recognize that you, oh, those of you that are Mr. Robot fans, that shit worked. Um, it was something that he kept chanting so that he would kind of stay in control of his mind. Um, oh my God, what was it? Mind, mind over body, body over soul. It was something, oh my God, you guys can just Google a quote. Um, Google the Mr. Robot quote when he was falling asleep. And now I, I like quoted that like a bunch of times as I was drifting off to sleep and I became very lucid. Being lucid just means that you're aware that you're dreaming so you can kind of alter it or shift it or really focus on things. Um, matter of fact, I feel like some of you have really been trying to um, see something very clearly in your dream. When you do become lucid, those of you that know how it feels to become lucid, you know that moment where, like, say for instance, someone shows you a letter in a dream, and then all of a sudden you just have to really focus so hard on those words to make them out. So I feel like someone is really trying to focus on some sort of detail in a dream too, and just like, what did that mean? I know that was a message in there for me. Um, I see someone who's very guarded with their heart, especially, like I said, the emperor. I see the heart right here. And, you know, this person is strong. They can, they can bring out those swords and be cold and distant to you, but they're really sensitive. Um, he does not want to hurt. He does not want to cry. He's very passionate. He can be very passionate when he falls in love. So, you know, he does not want that to happen. Um, if this is job related, this is someone who's very passionate about what they do. Very passionate. The emperor has to call all the shots. I also get like someone who is maybe into film or movie directing or someone who likes to work behind the scenes. Like you, you're better at exercising your powers behind the scenes. Um, some of you, it's like you like to be creative, but you don't want to be in a spotlight. You're like, I, I want to be part of, you know film or I want to be part of music but I want to be the the person in the background this can be someone who prefers to be the background singer it's like you can be Adele I'll, I'll be your little background singer I don't want to be out in the front I'm shy you know so I just kind of feel like someone who's very passionate about their work they want to put that energy to use but they don't want to be in a spotlight um you also could already be working on some sort of project. I feel like you're going to be very busy, matter of fact. I feel like you're going to be very busy, especially if you do start your own business. Like it's, it's, it's going to take a lot of uh, hard work and you're going to be wearing many hats. Um, as feelings, I see someone who is carrying a lot of weight on their shoulders in regards to how they feel. They may be trying to avoid you. Um, if they are ignoring you or acting like they don't see you, it's more than likely because, um, you know, they're shy. They, they don't, I don't know, they just don't want to talk to you directly. The emperor also likes to observe. So... Um, the emperor, he can get on my nerves. Sometimes he go, when he's ready, oh my God, he comes at you directly. You don't have to guess. He just comes and snatches you up and throws, throws you over his shoulder. Um, guys, if you're watching, then that's either what you would do or a woman is just like, she just walks up to you and is just like, um, yeah, I like you. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> it's funny. You guys ever, um... Yes, I'm about to talk about Bill Cosby because the Cosby show was still um, still a classic, still brought very good memories. So 
there was this episode in the Cosby show. I don't know if you guys are going to remember where this girl, she was like, she kept breaking up with her boyfriend. I think he was like Vanessa's friend and he liked Vanessa, but he couldn't like detach from this girl. And Vanessa was like, you need to stand up to her and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, okay. And so one minute when he was like getting like really tough, you know, she, he like stood up to her. But one day it's like she knocked at the door and she was just like, I thought about it and I changed my mind. You're my man. And she just like came and grabbed him and took him away. And it was just weird because she kept turning it on and off. Like when it was like her call. So the ball was always in her court. So if you're a guy who's extremely shy, maybe you're wanting a woman that can take charge like that, or maybe you prefer to, for, to be set up. I don't know. It's very uh, strange energy because it's very masculine, very dominating energy, but yet it's like you are so sh coming off so shy. Uh, I also get someone who could either have light color eyes or green eyes even. Um, or it could be, um, I know guys, a lot of guys don't really wear contacts, but it could be a, a, a female that wears contacts. Not saying that she can't have green eyes, but, you know, I'm just saying if that's not their natural color, then they could be contacts. Yep, I'm seeing green twice. Um, so someone could have green, even maybe like hazel eyes, because sometimes hazel comes off as green. Uh, but I see someone who does want to open up to the other person, but they're they're having a hard time doing it. So I'm not going to tell you to assist them. <laughs> it's up to you. You can if you want to. But I almost feel like someone does want to talk to you. They're just they're just afraid. Let me just kind of clarify a couple of things before ending the video. Let's look at the nine of swords some more. Somebody is waiting for the other person to make a move. I feel like someone already put their move out. It's, it's like I'm seeing a game of chess being played. I'm looking at this little chess piece right here. They're like, okay, I made my move. Now I'm waiting for them. And it's driving me crazy because they haven't gotten back to me. Or they haven't responded. Or they haven't blah, blah, blah. So someone is stressing after, the, after making a move. Man, somebody is obsessively watch ooh, somebody watching you or you are obsessively watching somebody. Somebody wants something really bad. I almost want to say that they can't have. I feel like they can have it, but it is coming off as a temptation or taboo. It's a taboo desire. Um Someone also could be at a distance if they're not literally far away from you and in a different city or state, then they're just being silent and observing. It could be someone right in the same vicinity that just watches you walk by, you know, especially like a coworker or something, especially if it's your boss. It's like, you know, they just watch you, but they don't say anything. Um, someone is like, mad at themselves for not they're calling themselves a wimp or weak they're like what's wrong with you why can't you do this and that somebody is beating themselves up they're putting a blame on themselves hmm so i am feeling like someone put their um put their move out there and the other person didn't respond. And now they're like, oh, I think it's too late. It's going to look stupid. Like two weeks have gone by since they messaged me or since they liked my uh, picture or since they left that comment. Like it's, it's going to look stupid if I, I respond this late. So someone is hesitant because they just don't want to look stupid or they feel foolish some type of way. Mm. I feel like eventually they're going to push through it and you're going to, yeah, you're going to be happy. Eventually, somebody's going to come out of their shell. But don't sit around and wait for it, please. Just 
keep focusing on you. Um, I still would say if this is about some sort of job opportunity, go out and get it yourself. Don't wait for something to come to you. Mm. Let me see what this Two of Swords is talking about, too. Someone eventually is either going to write a song for you. Now, that's if you already know this person. I, I don't feel like it's coming from a total stranger. Uh, but I do feel like someone's writing a song or a poem for you. Or you might be doing it. You might be the one. Someone is also in denial about uh, the attraction or a connection that they're having, which only makes it worse, which really makes it morph into the devil. Someone also suffers from severe anxiety, depression from time to time. Someone may be bipolar. I know that's not for everybody, but I, I do feel like somebody may be bipolar. Somebody has already prepared some sort of message or what they want to say, but they haven't said it yet. Uh, and when they do, it's going to be in secret or private. They composed it already. You're going to be shocked when you find out who it is or what it is that they have to say. Or shocked at both. You're like, what? Yeah, this is being surprised at someone's um, confession or someone's truth. Um... You're going to be surprised to find out that someone has been looking or watching you. You've already been dreaming about someone. Someone's definitely been keeping their distance. And remember, I was saying someone could be bipolar or um, have uh, suffer from anxiety, depression. Someone that is part of the thing that holds someone back. Someone becomes so paranoid. Someone might be OCD. Um... Someone might have that secret. They're like, what if they don't like me when they find out I'm OCD? Um, so someone is definitely going through some sort of mental disorder. They're keeping their distance. Uh, they don't know how you would respond. Or this could be your energy. Please keep in mind, this can always go the other way around. But eventually someone is going to get the confidence to... Uh, approach you. For some of you, it could be a co-worker. Um, if it's not a co-worker, you guys probably work in the same type of industry or the same type of field. Um, so let's just say, for instance, you do tarot readings on YouTube. This person might be a blogger on YouTube. It might not be tarot readings, but they, work, they also maybe work from home or earn a living by doing things from YouTube or any type of uh, platform. Maybe the both of you are both uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, maybe the both of you work from home. I feel like there's something that you guys have in common where you guys, um, you know, have, have that thing in common. But yeah, there is someone that is is has composed something that they want to say to you, but they haven't given it to you yet. Eventually, this is them opening up, and when they do, you might pass it by. You might not even notice, or you might read it the wrong way, um, because you're like, I don't know what that meant. Like, was that, a, were they flirting, or were they just being nice? And I feel like you're not really going to be able to tell. All right, so um, I hope that helped, or help, hope it resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.